without further ado, I want to start with a video question that we received from Gonzalo. Let's take a look at this. Hello, my name is Gonzalo, and my question to the dermatologist is that I've suffered from dandruff for a significant amount of time now. Um, I've tried every shampoo out on the market, uh, sell some blue, head and shoulders, Dove, and it just doesn't seem to work. So what could you advise me to do to treat this condition? Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Gonzalo. What do you have to say to him? So there's a, a couple of issues. Number one is that, first of all, dandruff is a condition that's a chronic condition. So none of the treatments will be permanent treatments. The only thing that those treatments do for the condition that we know is dandruff is to control it. So for example, some of these shampoos like Head and Shoulders and other things over the counter will help control it, but not necessarily cure it. There are stronger uh, shampoos that are available by prescription that can give more control. And there are also um, medications that can be used topically that can give control. And those are done by prescription by a physician, depending on what the situation is. It's, it's important to make the, the proper diagnosis, which brings me to the second point that it, most of what we call dandruff comes from a condition called seborrheic dermatitis. Um, in babies, we call it cradle cap. In adults, it's called seborrheic dermatitis. Usually it's associated with more greasy uh, skin of the scalp and of the hair, and then this kind of fine yellowish scalp. However, there are many other conditions that can lead to what some people call dandruff or flaking or scaling of the scalp. For example, psoriasis is one of those conditions. And in those situations, you may need a more aggressive form of treatment and prescriptions. In addition to that, it, it's important to make sure that the person does not have something like a fungal infection of the, of the scalp, because that can be interpreted to be um, some type of a dandruff, when in fact it is not a dandruff. And then in addition, um, there can be other inflammatory conditions of the scalp or other diseases. So the most important thing I would say is this, certainly try an over-the-counter shampoo, see if that helps you. If it's not helping you, then I would go and make an appointment to see a dermatologist to be evaluated, to make sure that you in fact have what we call common dandruff or seborrheic dermatitis, and that in fact, you don't have something like a fungal infection or some kind of inflammatory disease like psoriasis or lupus or some other type of disease that can cause scaling and flaking on the scalp. Great information. Thank you, Dr.